everybody, it's Karen Bentley with the Sugar-Free Advantage channel. The Sugar-Free Advantage is your complete resource for healthy living and healthy weight loss on the sugar-free, low-carb, or keto continuum. All of these three eating strategies recognize sugar as a dastardly substance in the diet that either needs to be completely eliminated or manage to one degree or another. So thank you for coming and welcome. Today we're gonna to be talking about uh, Hershey's chocolate syrups. There are three of them that are uh, supposed to be better for you than the original syrup, and we're gonna look at all three of them and see if any or all of them are great choices for somebody on a sugar-free lifestyle. Um, before we get started, let's talk about the, the review characteristics that we're gonna be using for all three products, and that is one, the serving size and the calorie value. What is the serving size? What is the caloric value for it? Two, what are the sugar grams for that serving size? And three, what's the sweetening agent and where does it appear on the food ingredient list? Is the food manufacturer, which in this case is Hershey's, are they using some kind of sugar or a sugar relative? Or are they, are they using an alternative to sugar? Uh, before we look at our three review products, let's um, refresh our memories on the original. This is the original Hershey syrup, uh, and you can get it today. It's uh, the recognizable one with the red trim. And um, let's see, what do we have? Okay, first thing you need to know is that it's 45 calories per tablespoon. This is what a tablespoon looks like, and who just eats one tablespoon of Hershey's syrup? That would be nobody. 45 calories per serving, and there are 10 grams of sugar per serving. So right away, that's a red flag because we only wanna have four grams of sugar per serving max. Four grams of sugar is one teaspoon, and that is all our bodies can handle at any one time. So this has more than double what we can handle, 45 calories and 10 grams. Eh, that's pretty yucky. If that wasn't bad enough, let's look at the ingredients list. We've got um, the first food is high fructose corn syrup. Eh. Next, corn syrup. Eh. Next, cocoa. Okay. And the fourth is sugar. Eh. So we know that this is just cocoa flavored sugar and we can do way better than the original Hershey's product. Let's not give ourselves that. So, okay, let's check the other products that we're looking at. Here's the first one that we're gonna be reviewing. It's Hershey's Light Syrup, genuine chocolate flavor. Again, 50% less sugar, carbs, and calories. 20 calories per one tablespoon. So we know that from the front. And again, it's the same serving size, one tablespoon, more than half of a calorie reduction, 20 calories. So that's pretty good. But let's look at the sugar grams. The sugar grams are five sugar grams. Again, uh, more than half reduced. But five is still a little over what we want to target for ourselves. We want to stay at four or less because four, four sugar grams is one teaspoon and that's all our body can handle. This has five, it's slightly over. Let's look at the ingredients list for more clues. First ingredient is water, which we don't count because it's not a food. Next ingredient is sugar. <clears throat> Next ingredient is fructose. <clears throat> Next ingredient is cocoa. So this, for uh, my taste, is too much sugar per serving. I would pass on this product, even though in terms of sugar grams, it's close. Let's look at the next one. Simply five. So in this case, Hershey's is playing on the theory that less ingredients is healthier for you. You don't have a long list of chemicals and um, strange, hard to pronounce names to deal with. So five ingredients is better. And uh, what else do we know? It's got no high fructose corn syrup, no GMOs, genuine chocolate flavor. Now we go to the back because that's where the rubber meets the road. Uh, first thing is, we see that the serving size is again one tablespoon and it's 45 calories per serving. So it's exactly the same 
as the original chocolate syrup. There's no difference. Then we go to the sugar grams. What do we got? Oh no, it's 11 grams of sugar. It's even worse than the original uh, syrup, 11. We could live without that. Remember the max we wanna give ourselves is four because that's one teaspoon and that's all our body can handle. If that wasn't bad enough, let's look at the ingredients list for more clues. Maybe there's something there. So we've got the first ingredient is sugar. Eh. Next ingredient, invert syrup, which is sugar. Eh. Next ingredient is water, which we don't count. And then we have cocoa. Pass on this product. You can do better. Let's look at the last one that we're going to review today. And that's Hershey's Sugar Free. And we know from the front that it's got vitamins and minerals. Oh, okay. And we know that it's genuine chocolate flavor. They're all genuine and it's got five calories per tablespoon. So now we're gonna to go to the back, which is where the rubber meets the road. Again, we have the same serving size, another tablespoon, but in this case, it's only five calories. So if, if you're just counting calories, this is gonna be a, a more agreeable choice for you because it's way, way, way less calories. Now we're gonna look at the sugar grams, and what does this one have? Ah, oh, zero sugar grams. That's looking pretty good for us. So far, so good. Let's go to the ingredients list because how does the how does Hershey's sweeten this product? You know, what does it use? Uh, is it another sugar or an alternative to sugar? So the first ingredient is water, which we don't count because water is not a food. Second ingredient is cocoa, okay? Next ingredient is uh, glycerin erythritol. Erythritol is a sugar alcohol. We know it's a sugar alcohol because it ends in O-L. Most sugar alcohols end in O-L. And erythritol is the least objectionable sugar alcohol because it doesn't cause most people what's called digestive distress, which is pooping and farting and cramping. Um, the next ingredient is, oh, they, okay, they've got a lot of chemicals and artificial flavors. Um, and if you object to chemicals and artificial flavors, this product is not for you. And then we finally get to sucralose. Sucralose is typically known by the brand name Splenda. It's another sweetening agent. It's an artificial sweetener. Again, it's the least objectionable artificial sweetener. It does not cause most people digestive distress. And then it goes on to add uh, other, other things in this uh, product. So if you don't mind erythritol and sucralose, and if you don't mind chemicals and artificial flavors, this would be a decent choice for you. I would give it one thumb up because of the chemicals and because of the artificial and uh, erythritol sweeteners. But you know, it fits the profile and, uh, and you know, that might be good enough for you. You have to decide for yourself. I would probably use this product, not a lot, but I would use it. And if you object to those things, you can make your own syrup. You can use cocoa and uh, whatever sweetening agent you want. You can find a recipe on the internet. It's easy enough. So for my bang for the dollar, I would take this one, I would pass on these two and the original, and I hope you come back and visit us for some more product reviews. Bye for now.